Hello everybody, my name is Simulation for the Nation and welcome to another Farm Sim 22 video. In today's video, we're going to look at exactly how much you can make on the spot for this trailer load of wheat. The Welga trailer behind you holds approximately 8,000 litres and that is what it looks like when it's tipped out on the floor in front of you. Now in today's market, in-game, if you were to come on and look at your prices here for wheat, we could find it was selling it for approximately anywhere between 307 and 350 six fifty eight pounds a ton now there are some caveats to that if you're going to sell it at the, the marisone you need to actually hire the train to do that so it's going to cost you a lot of money so really even if we take that uh the top value there which is let's go for 358 times uh eight because they're coming for eight so you're still looking at receiving approximately 2864 pounds in return pounds euros or dollars depending upon the currency but I figure out there's a better way that we can make some money off here. A lot of people have been saying in my comments to live streams or to videos that eggs and hens are the way to go. And I want to prove just exactly how much you can make from this exact same amount of wheat with hens. So we've started already. As you can see, we have a bit of an operation set up behind us here. And we're going to check in to see how it's going. About two or three days ago in game here, we actually started this whole process off. I bought this large hen house, cost about £70,000. Uh, I filled it full of hens as well, which costs you a, a little bit of money there. Uh, we'll look, review those costs very shortly. At least the forklift, at least the truck, at least the trailer. And so far, we haven't finished yet. So far, these are all. this is all of the produce that we've been able to achieve, really, which is quite staggering. So we've currently got, if we have a look here, less than one ton of wheat left in here. We're currently looking at 425 litres. So what we're going to do is just crack on with time here. Uh, we might even sleep through the day just to see we're currently producing a pallet out the back there as well we've got a full pallet to go already and we're filling up another one there so we're gonna probably end up seeing this pallet and one more being completed so we're gonna let time do its thing we're gonna fast forward actually we're gonna sleep through the day we'll come back tomorrow morning and see exactly what we've got left and we're gonna figure out the best price that we can get for that same eight tons of wheat and bingo all right so it is 8 a.m. in the morning here. We didn't quite fill that second pallet. I'm going to assume, yeah, we've used up that entire eight uh, tons of wheat there. So we've got two little uh, pallet and three quarters left, really. So we're going to jump into our electric forklift. We're going to stick them into there. And then we're going to go and find the best place where we can sell these off. We got this is electric, isn't it, Sim? You're not going to hear an engine when that kicks in. There you go. My first time really using this. I do like the animations there on the little finger triggers. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we're doing. See how easy this is to get loaded up. There you go. You can see what we're doing quite nicely. Oh, nice. Excellent stuff. So realistically, if you are uh, looking to make a bit of money here in Farm Sim, you've got there's a few factors to consider with hens. Of course, you could have gone for the smaller uh hen run really or the, the setup there this one is 60 79 000 on the initial purchase which is a lot of money uh if you are you are willing to and able to you could always take up a loan for that there and uh and then look to pay that off on the long term uh additional costs as well the four there we go out we come you obviously you have the initial outlay for your hens as well it costs you a little bit over three thousand pounds euros or dollars for every 20 i do believe so it is it's there's an initial investment there but i'm very very confident that we will be able to recoup a lot of this investment on the first outlay and bear in mind this is from the first eight thousand liters or eight tons of wheat if you're in a position to have you know a couple of fields out the back there uh, ready to go with wheat in there then you're going to be in, able to invest a lot more into it there you'll be able to stick all that straight on into your uh into your hen production and really begin to capitalize on that one but we'll see to what extent very shortly uh, let's just stick this one over here this forklift's a bit good isn't it i like this okay and that is that done uh so what we need to do now is we'll just stop this about here knock that off go and uh, fasten the last of them down and then shut up our There you go. Jump on in. And we need to close the kit inside there. I do like those animations as well. One more. Up go the lats and we're good. So, we've got 15,323 
I believe they call them pieces or units for eggs. But we're looking good. So now, let's go and see what we can do with these eggs, shall we? As we come on down, we want to find where our eggs are there. Fantastic. So we're looking at either the best place currently is going to be the farm shop again, actually. That's changed around a little bit, but let's see what the price fluctuations are looking like. Now, what you'll see, we are currently in the mid in January, uh, where the price is not even the strongest. So we are currently in the middle of our uh, probably about average, actually, for the for the, uh, for the year. So this should give us a fair indication of what you can get. Yes, you can go really low there if you're looking at May, March, April, May time. It's not ideal at all, but we're still on the top of the, the downwards curve there, really. So it'll be a good idea to see exactly what we can get. So like I say, we are off to the farm shop, it would appear. Let's just double check that one. Uh, yeah, we're going up all the way up to the farm shop, which is typically where I end up selling lots of my different uh, produce. Anyway, we'll go and take a little drive up to the farm shop. Then we'll see exactly what that's going to look like, how much we can get. And then we're going to do some math just to figure out exactly how much it costs us to, uh, to get set up. Uh, and to see if this is all worthwhile, see how much money we make off it and see if it's a long term viable option. Okie dokie folks, we're nearly the end of the, by now, the well-trodden path that I'm sure many of us have taken up to the farm store here on Hot Belleron. I know I certainly have there. Uh, and also check out the skin on the curtain cider here. Doesn't that just look fantastic with the uh, FSL League uh, vinyl on the side there on the decal? It's just brilliant. Really like to see that. You can get this in chrome blue and I believe also just white as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, we're going to spin wide here okay around we come and then we'll loop all the way around to the right straight over the way bridge there and let's see how much we make here we have to make sure i believe i'm just going to let's just open that up anyway and then oh, oh we go is everything still being roughly held in place it looks like it is uh and then okay we can at least see how it all sells off here And they are selling, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get this away. Uh, keep an eye on the price in the top corner once this all goes. Twenty-one and a half thousand pounds. That is not all bad, folks, at all. So that really, at the very, you know, crude piece of calculations there, that is over seven hundred percent of our original uh sale price if we were to sell it through uh, just the general grain store or through selling over to goldcrest valley which typically has a slightly higher price there because you do have to rent the train uh, don't forget that was 2864 so yeah over 700 percent there is incredible it's actually closer to 7.5 or 750 percent increase there which is incredible really but let's not leave it at that we're going to get rid of this truck. We're going to do a little bit of uh, calculations there at the yard and we'll see what it's going to take to make this economically viable moving forward there so you can pay for your overheads there in the initial setup. So let's have a look into it. Let's break out the figures. Okay, and folks, so we're back at our farm. So this calculation is going to assume that you already have everything you're going to need to, to grow and to harvest your wheat crop. That's a given. And everything you'll need to transport with as well. So you're not going to lease a forklift or a, a truck like like we did, you're just going to use the tools that you have for the farm already. That's going to be taken for granted here. What isn't, though, is the actual setup of the equipment. So we made 21500 at the time when the price was not quite at its peak and it was trending down over here for the year. So there is an opportunity to make a little bit more. Uh, so if you're willing and able to hold on to all of that produce until the, the peak there in December uh, or even November, you could make even more than this but this is just based off what we have which is kind of a little bit more of an average market price there for the year i would suggest uh so twenty one and a half thousand of eight thousand liters your initial setup costs if you there are two different ways you can go you can go for the large model that we have here or you can go for the reduced down model as well this model in front of you the building will cost you seventy nine thousand pounds euros or dollars and it requires six three hundred and sixty chickens to fill it uh now to buy a maximum of 60 chickens at one go is three thousand pounds euros or dollars excluding any transport fees uh which will bring you to eighteen thousand to fill the whole thing full of chickens are, that are able to start producing eggs for you so if we figure that out that is going to be a grand total of ninety seven thousand pounds 
uh, before you've uh, to get yourself initially set up. Now, the great thing is with this setup and with most of the uh, livestock setups in game, you only need to provi provide them with feed. So you don't need to provide them with water or any other upkeep, any straw or anything like that. It is solely just going to be your wheat. So for 8,000 ton or 8,000 liters, eight tons like you have in that pile over there, which typically is going to be less than one field, really. You're going to hope to see a lot more of that especially if you really want to maximize the yield that you are making. I did make a video about how you can do that as well. Do go and check that one out if you want to follow up here. But ultimately, we're going to we're gonna uh, factor in that you are able to produce a lot more wheat than, than that 8,000 liters. But what's brilliant is to be able to pay off for the, the hens and this building here, it would only take you 36,000 liters of wheat or 36 tons of wheat. Now, if you can get that in... now. You, because of the time frame, we did skip through from August through to December here. So that is a quarter of the year to make that. So it's going to take you a little over a year to complete and to completely pay off your, your initial investment there. But after that, you are on the home straight. You are all in profit. So that first year, you can get after it. You can make sure you have everything set up there. Perhaps take out a farm loan as well to, to allow you to have that capital to invest in the building and into the hens. And then after that, from that stage on, you're ready to go you will be in the money making business even if you hold on to your produce until november when the, the price is at its peak you'll be in a position that you can sell this immediately and almost fully repay off all of your uh investment that goes along with the fact as well that when you restart when you start into a safe game you can always look to choose an area or choose a, a parcel of land to buy where you have wheat already planted get onto that field of wheat there you can, if, it's a, if it hasn't fully finished growing, you can then spray uh, fertilizer onto there as well to enhance that yield that little bit further and hopefully capitalize on that even more. 36,000 liters of wheat is not a great deal as we know. It's uh, when you think about some of the size of these fields here, even just one large field for a year would be enough to, uh, to pay for this. And also the hens and the eggs that you produce here are also going to pay for the investment and in the planting of that crop in the first place. So... This is a great opportunity. It's significantly stronger opportunity for ma making uh, a, a return on your investment than it would be just to plant wheat, sell the uh, sell the harvest off. Uh, it's also one of the easier options to do as well. If you think about the production chains, as great as they are, great uh, diversification in the game. All you need to do here is tip a load of wheat into the silo, and then you leave it. Occasionally coming in to clear out the the pallets at the end. Everything else is taken care of for you and all you need to do is wait for that time to sell and then go straight to the bank and cash in. Uh, so this is what we're going to be looking into in the future in some of our game saves. I do hope this has been uh, informative for you all. If you have enjoyed this and you have found this useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up there. Uh, share it around your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe as well. My name has been Simulation Fuller Nation. We'll be back with more how-to guides and tips videos coming up soon for Farm Simulator 22. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one.